one is a breaking news report from um, March 2nd, 2014, regarding the uh, ongoing issues of Ukraine and the Russian uh, actions and the actions of NATO in the West, which are trying to destabilize Russia and come to a direct conflict. NATO members Poland is moving troops and military assets toward the Ukrainian border, and World War II, World War Three nears. This is from the uh, uh, Europe Business with one S dot blogspot dot com. Tim Alexander, Tim Sterling, the, and uh, uh, the uh, Tim Alexander that is Lord Sterling, and so Tim uh, has got this report on his blog. Polish PM. Uh, it's time to show Ukrainians who their real f uh, friends are, and of course this is stupid. And this corrupt fool, of course, get himself destroyed and his nation because Russia is moving their S-400 anti-aircraft system, anti-missile system in. Secretary of State John Kerry weighed in with U.S. will go to the hilt against Russia for Ukrainian military incursion. And of course, this is an evil jerk who, who was, when he was running for president, was suddenly surprised to learn that he was Jewish, of course, Sabbatean Jewish, and a member of Skull and Bones who took the uh, satanic oaths when he was in Yale University in the crypt. Everyone in his family knew that he was Sabbatean Jewish, but, uh, but he was a Zionist globalist operative who was driving America to the utter horror and destruction of war with Russia. And Russia advanced its S-400 air defense missile system moving toward Ukraine. It's the most advanced on the planet, and uh, nothing can get through it. John McCain wants to push for America into full-scale war with Russia. This evil lunatic is trying to, to get us all killed if he can get his way. He's an example of the demonic blindness that happens to people who sell their souls for money and power. And of course we have sustaining uh, Ukraine's breakthrough by George Soros. Evil bastard is one of the most evil men on the planet. He's also a very senior Rothschild operative driving the world towards an extinction event, World War III, so that his masters can get their new world order slave state. However, 21st century warfare is not survivable. Lucifer's time to influence events on this planet is almost up, and being the pathetic mass murderer that he is, he's moving his minions to destroy God's earth and all higher life forms therein. And of course, Senator Marco Rubio urges decisive action over Russian military move against Ukraine. This is another political whore trying to gain points before the 2016 election. <clears throat> he's also a globalist Zionist puppet. Uh, he wants to run for president. The course of political whores in the District of Crooks Washington, D.C. drowns out the few real Americans there would protect us from this demonic rush to war with a nuclear armed power as more nukes than we do. And a map of Russia and Belarus, and we're going to see this in a moment, gas supplies to Europe via the Ukraine. And of course, if Russia cuts off the gas, Europe will literally stop its industry, stop, and they'll freeze in the dark. Putin has occupied Crimea, is Ukraine, and World War III next, and there's a good chance of that. Uh, even if there's a peace treaty, it'll only last for a short period of time because the West is determined to take over the Middle East through Syria and Iran, to take over uh, Venezuela with their actions there, and South America, where there's five plus trillion barrels of oil there, at least seven times as much as in the Middle East in uh, Saudi Arabia. After three visits to Ukraine in five weeks, Victoria Newland explains that in the past two decades, the United States has spent five billion dollars to subvert Ukraine and assures her listeners that there are prominent businessmen and government officials who support the U.S. Uh, project to tear Ukraine away from its historic relationship with Russia and into the U.S. sphere of interest. So she's pretty nervy. Victoria Newland is the wife of Robert Kagan, leader of the younger generation of neocons. After serving as Hillary Clinton's spokesperson, she is now Under Secretary of State for Europe and Eurasia, Diana Johnston. Here, Victoria Newland's very concise, almost Victoria speech. And Putin reminds Obama of crimes committed by ultranationalists in Ukraine. <clears throat> Russia, President Vladimir Putin, has discussed the situation in Ukraine with his U.S. counterpart Barack Obama by telephone. Putin reminded the U.S. President of crimes committed by Ukrainian ultranationalists with the connivance of Kiev's new self-proclaimed government. A conversation that was at Obama's request and lasted more than an hour, according to Kremlin's uh, press service. In response, to Obama's concerns over the possible use of Russian troops in Ukrainian territory, Putin said that Russia's reserved the right to defend both its own interests and that of interests of the Russian-speaking population of Ukraine if violence spreads to Ukraine's eastern provinces and Crimea. Putin accentuated the existence of real threats to life and health of the Russian citizens and millions of compatriots living in Ukraine. Eyewitness 
Western mercenaries fought in Maidan protests. This made Maidan Square Theater was brought to you by the same people that created 9-11 and 7-7 and Sandy Hook and Boston Marathon, etc. False flag events. They only get by with it because they control the mainstream news media and most of the leading politicians. They will not stop until most of us are dead and the remainder are their willing slaves. And Ukrainian troops in Crimea changed sides to back pro-Russian authorities uh, without bloodshed. That's, that's good. Some of the servicemen reportedly left their posts without prior warning while others surrendered letters of resignation, but the majority went over to the Crimean government. <clears throat> According to the source, all the troops will soon be sworn by the authority of the Crimean Republic. Ukraine PNAC Zionist Idiots Provoking World War III, uh, the PNAC. The uh, writing of the Atlantic Council, a prominent think tank based in Washington, D.C., Harlan K. Ullman, warned that an extraordinary crisis is needed to preserve the New World Order, which is under threat of being derailed by non-state actors like Edward Snowden. In an article entitled War of, on Terror, is not the only threat. Ullman asserts that tectonic changes are reshaping the international geostrategic system, <clears throat> according that it's not military superpowers like China, but non-state actors like Edward Snowden, Bradley Manning, and anonymous hackers who pose the biggest threat to their 365-year-old Westphalian system because they are encouraging individuals to become self-empowered, eviscerating state control. Very few have taken note and few have acted on this realization. But Zolman, lamenting that information revolution and instantaneous global communications are the thwarting the new world order announced by U.S. President George H.W. Bush more than two decades ago. What we know for sure about Ukraine? What we know for sure about the situation in Ukraine is exactly what we know about Syria, Iran, and previously in Libya, Iraq, and Afghanistan. <coughs> and Ukraine hopes for aid soon. Premium says it will meet IMF reform conditions with video. The PM of the coup government is a Jewish central banker. The IMF is the creation of the Rothschild Empire to impoverish nations. Need I say more? So in other words, they chattelized most of the assets of the country of Ukraine. So pretty nasty. Let's look at some of the articles that we have posted. These are the map of the of the pipelines, gas pipelines from Europe that uh, show Russia, the eastern Ukraine, including Sevastopol, which is the head of the Russian Black Fleet. You can see the gas lines brim directly to the Black Sea across uh, the area of, of western Ukraine, many of the pipelines right through Kiev uh, and all the way to Slovakia, to Hungary, and to Poland. So uh, the West has got these nations now tied in directly with NATO, and of course they have a, a, a binding treaty that if one nation is attacked like Poland, then all the nations have to counterattack. And attacking Russia means a nuclear war almost immediately, and Russia almost certainly will use a first strike offensive if there's any uh, attempt to attack, and we cannot uh, counteract that attack. Um, <clears throat> Polish PM, it's time to show Ukraine's who the real friends are. So this fool with this blank stare thinks he's going to stare down the Russians. He's a fool. Um, we'll go to the hilt with Russia for Ukraine. This is again uh, John Kerry, who's an idiot. And this is a report of the S-400 uh, in the aircraft system. I'm going to post it up here and you'll see just how powerful this is. And it's very mobile as well. Completely impossible to evade it. <coughs> and these travel at Mach 7 to Mach 8. So once they head out, there's uh, absolutely nothing that can stop them. No anti-missile system can stop them. So uh, if they think they're going to be able to stop Russia, they're fools. Um, 
We have, of course, uh, John McCain weighs in saying he wants to push the United States into full-scale war with Russia. This is the idiot McCain that needs to be in a psychiatric senior's home for the mentally in, uh, imbalanced. And uh, sustaining uh, Ukraine's breakthrough, uh, the Ukrainian uprising has had a surprising positive outcome. Contrary to rational expectations, a group of citizens armed with not much more than sticks and shields. Again, this is foolishness put up by George Soros. Project Syndicate, and of course you can see here uh, Soros Fund. So these people are here, the bankers, like George Soros, trying to push this foolishness. And uh, Marco Rubio, trying to get points as a presidential candidate, also is pushing for war with Russia and U Ukraine. And we can see Russian Parliament approves troop deployment, and so the the Parliament, the uh, regional Parliament of. Uh, the uh, Sevastopol in that area of the southern and uh, eastern parts of Ukraine have already split off and even the soldiers have switched sides to be pro-Russian. So the role, war to World War III runs through Ukraine. Dave Hodges report from February 28th and uh, he's got a very extensive report here. Uh, there's a very good report about NATO in the last magazine for Gerald Salente's uh, Trends Journal it explains how NATO has been the start of all of the Cold War and all the regime changes and terror and is draining the countries of Europe with money that they can't, don't have to spend on their social programs and is destroying the budget for America. So NATO is a big sucking sound creating a American hedge body worldwide and tying in all these other nations with binding treaties. So it's my prediction that uh, the West will do nothing, that uh, Putin will move swiftly to take over eastern and southern Ukraine and incorporate them as provinces, probably reincorporate them as part of Russia. Western Ukraine will be forced, after this is done, to capitulate or expect a Russian invasion. And if the surrounding countries invade and try to do a NATO counterattack, Russia will use the intermediate range nuclear missiles to take out their bases and uh, prove to them that, they're, that uh, they'll have to back off. So there'll be a full forced nuclear war with Russia wiping out uh, the main European military sites uh, and putting America on notice that if they don't stop there will be a thermonuclear exchange destroying most US cities. So Mr. Putin's going to put an end to this foolishness by Obama and Obama should be impeached for trying to start this war along with John Kerry. Uh, no business at all doing this. So we'll have to do a major update tomorrow on March 3rd. Um, we're going to be having back on the program Keisha Rogers and then John Moore will be back on. I post a report on Bob Gaskin yesterday about the uh, April events coming up and of course Ukraine is tied directly to that and the nearest space object in September but we do have technologies to take care of the this the biggest problem is what's going on in Ukraine and the inappropriate responses by the West and NATO so that's our report for March 2nd 2014 uh, I don't believe we're gonna have an outbreak of war but we're gonna have an outbreak of peace in the Middle East uh, as they reshuffle the cards to set up a new world financial order and Russia is going to get a big chunk of what they want at least temporarily out of this as well as China because the West will not be able to dictate unilaterally uh, without proper dialogue with Russia and China and the nations tied in their sphere of influence.